what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a supermarket. So this particular supermarket is a Tesco. If you don't know, in the UK, Tesco is, if not the biggest supermarket in the UK, I definitely think that it's the most popular, and I have had loads of requests to make one of these. And I've also had loads of requests to just make a supermarket in general, so I've decided to consolidate two tutorials into one. If for some reason you don't like Tesco or you're just from another part of the world, it is very, very easy to simply dismantle that sign or change it to your supermarket of choice. You could literally just make the sign a bit bigger and write either supermarket or just like market or whatever your favorite might be in that sign and it still functions all the same. And not only am I going to show you how to make the big giant building that Tesco's is or your supermarket is, but in a separate tutorial which will appear in two days time on the channel, so in two days time I will also show you how to make the inside of your supermarket. On the inside of the supermarket you can see that we have loads and loads of aisles in here, we have a place to get our fresh vegetables and such, and we have a place to buy our books and magazines, and we also have a place to buy all of our clothes, and we have a place to like get fresh food, and we also have some fridges and some freezers back here, and we also have a couple of tills, and that also includes the little car park that we have out here, including the little place that we have to collect trolleys. The inside and outside isn't necessarily 100% done, I'm sure that I'll add some more things to it, but for the most part, it's pretty much done. That'll appear in two days on the channel. That's pretty much all I had to say. Why don't I actually show you how to make this supermarket? It is surprisingly easy, guys. And by the way, if you do enjoy the tutorial, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop this video a like. Let's get on to things. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some block of quartz, some spruce wood planks, some quartz stairs, some quartz slabs, some spruce wood slabs, some red hardened clay, some blue wool, some black stained glass, and some black stained glass paint. And I do think that that is all we'll need for the actual Tesco's building, but I might be wrong. We might have to grab some more things later on. So once you have each one of these, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm making it in this very specific place because I'm trying to build my own little city. Well, once you've figured out where you want to make it, you're going to want to kick off your supermarket with a row of four block of quartz coming directly up from the ground. That's one, two, three, and four. Then continuing to go up, place a spruce wood plank, and on top of that, a block of quartz. Go right of that block of quartz by 31. Yeah, that's right. 3, 1, 31. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. We then want to go down from this 31st block by one of the spruce wood planks and then go down by four with the block of quartz. Basically, connect it down to the ground. We then want to take this first block of quartz in this row of four, basically this top quartz block, and we want to go left of this by ten with the block of quartz. So you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then connect that tenth block down to the ground. And then what you want to do is you want to take this tenth block and you want to extend it in the ground towards you, out in front of the supermarket, by one of the spruce wood planks, then do one block of quartz, then do, on top of that block of quartz, a row of three block of quartz, so that's one, two, three, then extend that quartz towards you, by five, that's one, two, three, four, five, then connect that down to the ground, take that block that's connected to the ground and extend it towards you by one of the spruce wood plank, one the block of quartz, then go on top of that block of quartz by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, like this. That is absolutely wonderful. So once you guys have done that, what we now want to do is we want to take this block of quartz here and we want to drop one block below. So this, like, second to top block of quartz. And we want to go left of it by 10 with the spruce wood plank. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then go left of that by 1 the block of quartz. Go up on top of that block of quartz by 1. And then connect it down to the ground, as I've just done there. Then what we want to do is we kind of want to take a sideways look at what we've just made here. 
and we want to take this block of quartz that actually touches the ground and we want to extend it backwards and we want to extend it backwards by one the spruce plank then one the block of quartz go up on top of that block of quartz by by three so that's one two three then i'm going to go left of that third block by five that's one two three four five then i'm going to connect that block down to the ground I'm then going to take that block that touches the ground and I'm going to move back from it by one the spruce wood plank, then one the block of quartz. And then from this block of quartz, moving back to where we first started, I want to go left of that quartz by one the spruce wood plank, one the block of quartz. Now go up on top of that block of quartz by three, that's one, two, and three. Then connect it all the way over to the left to where we first started. And you'll want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this. Now, so this is pretty much the entire framework for the front of the build. This is the hard thing taken care of. Now that we've got this taken care of, everything else is really, really easy from here. Let me show you. So, first of all, we're just going to fill in a couple of windows. This big window that we have on the front left hand side, we're going to fill in with black stained glass paint. So just completely fill that in with black stained glass paint or maybe you want to use glass block instead completely up to you Or maybe you don't want to use black glass and you you want to use yellow glass instead or red glass or blue glass or Whatever color of glass you want rainbow glass is completely up to you even use a mythical type of glass that nobody's ever heard of like rainbow glass So add that these two side doors that we have here that lead inside the supermarket, we just want to add a layer of uh, glass around these. So around the inside, add a bit of a layer of glass. Uh, it doesn't have to cover the uh, entire archway. You don't have to completely seal it off. You could just have it on the left and right. Actually, I think I like it just better on the left and right rather than it actually being on top as well. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is on the front here, we are going to add ourselves four rows of glass so we're going to add ourselves four rows of glass to just completely fill in the front of this thing so let's just add in our four rows of glass and then we will be able to like i said we will have just filled in the front part of our supermarket with glass or for the most part anyway with glass um what we now want to do is we want to take uh the top of the front part of the market, this part that we've just outfitted with glass, and we want to connect these two pointy out, sticky up quartz blocks. We want to connect these together with a row of upside down quartz stairs, like that. We then want to also connect those quartz, we want to connect those quartz blocks that we just connected together with quartz stairs. We want to connect them to the actual front of the supermarket as well. So not only do we want to connect the sticky out bit of the front um, together, but we also want to connect it to the actual big main part as well. And the same blocks that those upside down stairs connect to, you want to connect those down with block of quartz. So if you can see what I'm talking about, you kind of want to form a big archway like this. Then all we have to do is we just have to fill in the gaps. So now in between the block of quartz, all we have to do is just fill in uh, all of the gaps that we can find with spruce wood planks. So like I said, I mean, this, this really is the most difficult part of this. If you get this part done, if you get the entire front done, then uh, the, the rest of the building, the big part and the side, is so easy, guys. It's so unbelievably easy. So you want to have something which should, so far, look a little bit like that. Looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now, once we've got that taken care of, this is what we are going to do next. So, why don't we actually form the big part of our Tesco's now? So, we're going to take the very first quartz block that we placed, which is this one. This is the very first one that we placed. And we're going to take this block and we're going to extend it backwards by 31 with the spruce wood plank. So that'll look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Like that. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this 31st block and we're going to drag it all the way over to the left hand side or the right hand side, it depends how you see things. And we're going to try and line it up the best we can with the other end of the supermarket. And I do believe that that is where the other end of the supermarket is. Now we're going to come to the other end of the market and we're going to connect it together front to back with our spruce book blanks like this. Really, really simple. So we want to have something which should look like that. And once you've got that taken care of, once you've got that first row of spruce wood planks done, you actually want to add two additional layers on top of it. So we're going to add two additional layers of spruce wood planks. Then we're actually going to add a, a layer of quartz. Then we're going to add another layer of spruce wood planks and then a layer of quartz. And that will be actually just about the entire walls of the place done. Then all we have to do is we have to add the sign and then we'll add the finishing touches to the market. But for the most part, that will be the big, scary, giant, long process of making the actual building, all of the four walls and stuff. That'll be that part done, which is really kind of cool because, I mean, it's, it's probably not as hard as you thought it might be just by looking at it, but that's how I try to make these things. So, once you've got in total three layers of spruce wood blanks, you want to add a layer of block of quartz. Yeah, despite the fact that it may look a little bit intimidating because it is big and it does have that that front part on the bit which, on the front bit which kind of looks a little bit hard to make, it is kind of really easy once you get past that bit. It's it's kind of really simple and the way that this thing's put together it's kind of logical as well, or at least I think so. I would say that I designed it. So once you've added the layer of block of quartz, you then want to add the layer of spruce with blanks, and then following that you want to add that layer of uh, block of quartz once again, and that'll be the walls pretty much done. Uh, what we also have to add to the walls, just in case you're curious, once we have added these things, is we just have to add something to make them look a bit nicer. So we'll add some quartz slabs to them um, in various places, and it will give the Tesco's, it will give your supermarket a bit more of a modern feel. That's all we're going for here. We don't want to be stuck with like an old age supermarket, although I am in the future, I'm planning on doing like a general store tutorial. You know, kind of, it's kind of like, I, you'd, like a corner shop, like a modern day sort of like off license. Like a, a tiny little shop, kind of independent we own that kind of have like anything that you'd want. I'm also going to be doing one of those in the very near future. But there you go. That is pretty much all of the walls for your supermarket. Now, once you've got those taken care of, the next part of this tutorial is for us to actually, this is what we're going to be doing, I think. I think that, the, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the sign because I think that that is going to be the easiest for us to do right now. So, we're going to come to the top front left hand corner of the market, which is this. This is the corner. We're going to, from this block, moving in right, we want to count in and we want to find the fifth block coming in. So this is the first block, second, third, fourth, fifth. This is the fifth block. What we're now going to do is we are going to go up on top of this fifth block by nine with the block of quartz. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like that. Then what we want to do, we want to, with our spruce wood planks, one row inwards and one row to the right of that row of nine, we want to construct ourselves a row of spruce wood planks like this. So one row inwards and one row to the right, we want to have that. Very, very easy. Now, once you've got that taken care of, we now want to take out our red stained clay. And we want to take this second to the top spruce wood plank and we want to do a row of three red stained clay going right of this second top uh, red spruce wood plank. So we want to go right by three of the red stained clay. That's one, two, three. Then take that center red stained clay and go down from it by four. That's one, two, three, and four. We then want to go down by one of the block of quartz then one with the blue wool, go left and right of that blue wool by one. So you want to have something which should look like this. Then going right of that blue wool, you want to do a block of quartz. Then do a free blue wool, that's one, two, three. Then do a block of quartz, then a free blue wool, one, two, three. Then a block of quartz, free blue wool, block of quartz, Free blue wool, 
Then, you want to do a spruce wood plank. Go down from that spruce wood plank by one. Also, go up on top of that spruce wood plank by seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then take out your block of quartz and one row to the right and one row outwards. You want to take that block of quartz and you want to extend that up by the same amount that the row of spruce wood planks has been extended upwards. So you want to have something which should look a little bit like that. And that is absolutely perfect. So now that we have the dimensions of the sign pretty much worked out, this is what we want to do next. So we want to take the two rows of quartz and we want to add a quartz slab on top of each one of those. And we also want to connect them in the middle like this. We also want to do a similar thing with our row of uh, with our row of spruce wood slabs. We want to add a layer of spruce wood slabs just at the top, like here, right at the top. And we also want to add a layer of slabs at the bottom as well, just as you can see me adding here. And what we then want to do is we actually want to add a layer of block of quartz behind the entire thing. So it's actually quite a bit of block of quartz. We want to add a layer of block of quartz that goes all the way behind where each one of the letters is going to sit. And this is going to provide a nice white backing for it. So it's going to be nice and easy to read. And the letters going to pop, uh, are going to pop out quite far. And again, it's, it's more just about they're going to be quite easy to read. It's going to make it look nice and I don't think that there needs to be any other reason does there so we're just going to add this quartz backing just to make it sure that everything's all nice and legible just to make sure that you can actually see the sign properly and once we've just added this quartz backing here we're going to write the letters in so as you can see this is pretty much what it's going to look like you can actually destroy um, the quartz that exists in between the uh, the blue wool and the red stained clay and now what we're going to do is we're just going to write the rest of Tesco so I'm um, starting from the top right hand side of the T here we're going to leave a gap of one and we're going to go right by three with the red stained clay so that's one two three leaving a gap of one uh, we're going to take the first red stained clay we're going to go down from it by four that's one two three and four then right by two one two we're then going to take the center red stained clay in this row of five that we have on the left and extend it to the right by two and there we have our e for our s we're going to start right at the very bottom of the e we're going to leave a gap of one moving to the right and we want to move right and do a row of three red stained clay that's one two three then up by two left two up two right two like that then we want to leaving a gap of one between the top of the s and where we're going to do the c going right we want to do a row of three red stained clay then take this first red stained clay go down by four that's one two three and four then we want to go right by two like that and then for the oh i'm sure that you guys already know how we're going to do this well we're going to take we're going to start from the bottom of the c we're going to move right by one leave a gap of one we're going to start by with a row of three red stained clay that's one two three moving to the side then we're going to go up by four one two three and four left by two all the way down to the bottom so that is tesco written out but problem is looks a little bit dark so a way to remedy remedy I said that in a weird way a way to remedy this is to add just another layer of the lettering so the blue stain uh, the blue the blue uh, wool and the red stained clay um, just add layers on top of that until the letters look even more 3D and until they're even more readable. Um, I don't know whether this will make them nice and bright enough or whether we'll have to add it yet another layer of the letters, but I think that that might actually do it. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad at all, but if you want to make them, for instance, even brighter, you would then add another layer of the letters. At a certain point, it does look a little bit silly, but I mean, hey, Extend them out as far as you want. Make sure that the letters are to your particular taste. I think that this is actually going to be a layer too far, but it doesn't really matter because, I mean, this is just the tutorial. I mean, I'm, do I'm doing it for you so you can actually see what it looks like. And, and there we go. So that is, like, extended out by three. Um, the letters look a little bit chunky there, but I actually do like that, and that looks perfectly fine. So that's the sign kind of so there is a little bit more we can do to the sign for the sign if you want to make it just look a little bit nicer 
um, at the back you can add a layer of spruceable planks that goes like all the way around the back of the layer of block of quartz that we have at the back so can you see we're kind of like mirroring what we have um, just on the opposite side you can add like a layer of spruceable planks that kind of just sits inside like that and then you can have a layer of block of quartz that goes all the way around the back as well and you, it can connect together in the same way that it does on the front and you can just leave the back of the sign blank and uh, there's there's no real reason to add anything else and it just makes things look a little bit nicer like the sign now looks a little bit nicer from the side and there we go that's Tesco the sign next thing we're going to do is we are going to make the shop look a bit better so to do that we're going to take out our quartz slabs and we're going to add a layer of quartz slabs that goes all the way around the very top perimeter row of block of quartz that we have at the top of our supermarket so it's exactly as easy as that sounds we just want to go all the way around the very top of the supermarket with block of quartz uh, a little bit boring a little bit dull but it'll make it look a bit better because not only are we going to have this layer of block of quartz but we're also going to add another layer as well so it'll make it just look a bit more shapely it'll just add a little bit more something to the supermarket it just it just adds an extra layer of detail which is really easy to add and it just makes things look a bit nicer because now we're going to add another layer of block of quartz that just sits above the windows like in terms of placement and it also goes all the way around like even in front of the glass here on the front we just want to add another layer of quartz slabs that just sits in this position going all the way around so I'm sure that you can see where it's added now like it just sits on the upper half of that quartz layer that we have going all the way around the supermarket anyway and um, that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, the only things that we have left to do in terms of detail next uh, that we won't cover in like the inside and the outside uh, tutorial for our supermarket is we're going to be adding glass to the roof and by the way just have a bit of a look doesn't that make things look a little bit nicer? It, it does, it just makes things look a little bit nicer when you add stuff like that. It's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a nice little bit addition of, uh, of detail. And uh, what we're now going to do is we are going to do the roofs. We're going to fill those in. Uh, the way this works is um, this little mini roof that we have right at the top front here, we're going to add another layer of block of quartz here just at the back like this so it's even going all the way around so we have like a row of two block of quartz going all the way around then we're going to add black stained glass to the very top of this so just going to add black stained glass to the very top of this like that also what I'm going to do because I'm not doing this on recording is I'm going to go all the way underneath the sign in the roof so wherever the sign would kind of like block light um, for the inside of the supermarket. As a matter of fact, what we'll do is we'll quarantine the entire front section of the supermarket here like this, right? So we'll quarantine the front, uh, entire front section of the supermarket and I'm going to fill the inside of the roof here with block of quartz so that from the inside you don't have to look up at the sign or anything like that and later on probably in the next tutorial we'll fix this by adding some inner light sources because an issue with the front part of the market now is you're going to kind of have like a little wave of darkness just as you walk in which of course isn't the best thing in the world so we're just going to fix that by having uh, by having a layer of block of quartz and we'll just fix it by adding some We'll fix it by adding some sea lanterns and stuff um, But the entire rest of the top of the supermarket if you add just like Just behind the no, you don't even have to add this what you can do is you can just fill this in with black stained glass I was going to suggest that maybe you could add a layer of uh, block of quartz just behind the sign like another layer or two but that means that we have to add more sea lanterns into the roof and I don't really want to do that I want to let as much natural light in as possible because I think it looks better than the artificial light although in your proper supermarkets I mean I don't know how many you guys have been to but you don't really get that many skylights I like it though where I can I prefer to use like proper proper actual minecraft light rather than actual artificial stuff but that is just me add other lighting in if you want it'd be a bit more realistic but I, I want to add glass into the entire top of this okay so we're going to add glass in the front bit we're going to add glass in the back bit 
And something else that I'm actually going to do is, whilst I'm at it, I'm going to fill in underneath each one of these windows and doors. And I'm going to do a layer of block of quartz underneath each one of the visible doors and windows. Because I don't like the look of how it does now. I want it to look a little bit nicer. Something else that I'm going to do. I know I'm doing a lot of stuff off recording, aren't I? But I'll show you all of it. Um, something else that I'm going to do, once I've done all of the windows and doors, which I actually, funnily enough, have. I'm going to... I'm going to do... Actually, you know what? Something we could do, because I don't want to do it in the next tutorial, is um, we can just do the little interior door here for the supermarket. So, I guess I didn't think about this, but we do actually have an entrance way into the supermarket. And um, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a layer of spruce wood planks right at the top of the entrance, like where the left connects to the right. Then I'm going to add a layer of black stained glass paint all the way around this as you can see just going to add a layer going all the way around this and now i'm just going to add a layer of block of quartz all the way inside of that and that is just going to form our entrance there so a pretty big entrance as you'd expect you want a nice warm welcome very very easy to do but the next thing that I am going to do, whilst I'm also away, I'm doing all of this whilst I'm away, um, I'm going to fill in the entire floor of the supermarket, the inside big bit, with oak wood planks, and this little entrance area, I'm actually going to be using a material that I don't have on me, stone slabs. I know, I'm going to be doing a lot, aren't I? So, the inside of this, I'm going to be adding stone slabs, where you just walk in. The inside bit, the big massive bit, oak wood planks, I'm adding glass, which I just bumped into, to the roof at the back and to the roof at the front. And I promise that that is all I'm going to do whilst I'm gone. All really, really boring, long things that don't require an explanation. So I'll be back once I've done all of that. I expect you guys to already start with be, to already be working on that. So I'll be back in just a second. And I'm back. So I've just finished doing everything that I just described. So I added all of the quartz underneath the windows, which looks very nice. I've added stone slabs to the just the inside, like the part where you walk into the shop, where you get nice and warm, where they're always blowing really hot heating. Just before the actual big giant inside of the shop, which I've actually floored with oak wood blanks. And as you can see, I have added some black stained glass to that roof and also the front little entrance roof as well. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is the raw building of your supermarket or your Tesco's or whatever you want to call this place complete. Pretty easy. Looks great. Can't really say anything bad about it. It's so simple, so easy, so great looking. I really do love this place. And I hope that you guys like it as well. And not only am I going to show you how to make this, but I am also going to do a tutorial for the entire outside of Tesco. So we'll be adding some like trolleys. We'll be adding uh, a couple of car parking spaces, stuff like that. And we'll also do the inside. We'll make it look nice with aisles and tills and all of the things that you'd expect. And that is going to be included in the next video, which is going to be two days from now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. I'd really, really appreciate it. I honestly would. Give it a share if you really love it. I'd honestly appreciate that as well also comment down below did you like this tutorial would you like to see another one what would you like to see next tell me let me know i'd be very very interested in knowing what you guys want me to make follow me on twitter at tsmz360 if you do make this or if you do just want to show me any pictures of your world that you've made or anything that you've made in general send me a picture of this supermarket or whatever you might have whatever you want me to see on twitter i love it follow me at there at tsmc 360 also check out the cards in the description below i'll be leaving links to loads of other things i have loads and loads and loads and loads of builds that i think that you guys might really be interested in a lot of real world a lot of city stuff that i've been working on recently including everything that you might see in that public park and i'm very slowly actually building my own city which i've not actually tried to do before so check out the cards check out the description below you will definitely find something that you like subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video